I'm just so angry and so frustrated, so hurt. I have so many emotions going through my whole entire body. I don't know how to feel about this whole situation. I'm hurt. I trusted you. My kids trusted you. You to be kidding me. If this ain't fake, fake, and more fake, anybody that believes this, oh Lord. CJ's so cool, like fell off bad because after him and Royalty had got into it or whatever um, about the kids, which was really his main source, his only income, literally. The man only income was dealing with kids, right? So if somebody takes the kids away from you, they automatically take over 75% of your income from you, which you are used to making. That's first of all. Second of all, if you turn around and then you start getting loans on money that's not there and you're not good with money management, you're gonna automatically fall off. You know what I mean? That's the reason why, you feel me? He fell off real bad type shit. The facts will always be the fact, but for me, none of these situations is fact thing, okay? At the end of the day, being me and Kevo, you're corny. And the fact that everybody keeps saying that CJ is a little boy, he thinks like a little boy and act like a little boy is the reason why all y'all grown ass men thought that y'all was going to get over on him. And that was y'all intentions from the beginning. Now, royalty, she was just like the two for one coupon because she's a damn fool. And she's so worried about him showing or telling people about her mothering skills. That's all what this is about for her. The fact is that she feels that he consistently makes her look like a bad mother. Those couple of days ago when Cordea um, um, was found to be broke, she was with her mother with that same pain for two days, okay? It took for her to get with her father for her to get a cast on her arm or to even um go to the doctor are you kidding me anytime this woman would have had any type of information on cj that coexisted to the level of this she would have used it but now she feel embarrassed embarrassed within self and embarrassed on the internet okay and at the end of the day this is all a ploy so she don't have to take the twins into his care anymore if she can have him lose his rights then she feel like she won the fight she's embarrassed every time she has to drop her kids to him with the outcome in the way the way that things is what they got me pissed what's up with the right people man most of the people that have come around you would be like fake haters and fake you know what i mean when i came around he was damn near asking me like man bro you know i'm fucked up right now um you think i can get a loan and this and that and i'm like what the fuck like what you mean like type shit so when i got around him um he had met this guy named big al when um, he got into a Big Al, Big Al said he worked with a company or whatever that can get him loans on his YouTube channel and this and that. And he was like, man, bro, what you think I should do? I'm like, shit, I don't really know. That's on you. If you can afford to pay these people back, shit, do it. But at the same time, seeing one of your biggest YouTubers go broke is crazy. Now, if we pay attention to everything, um, like I said, dealing with the kids, you gotta think about it like this. You got three, you got three kids by one girl. She takes all the kids away from you. Look how they was invested in his life. They was he mad. All it took for him to make his money was kids, people. and they had to be out here scamming and shit. Ha <laughs> ha. Thirsty a lot of niggas. Kids to make money. But instead, you try to do this relationship goal shit with Lexi. You know what I mean? You try to buy your daughter back in from Indiana. You know what I mean? It's just. People not catching the vibes like how they caught the vibe the first time with them. Then you're taking these big ass loans and they're scamming the hell out of you. You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to pay it back. So you can't really afford to pay it back. So you damn near stuck trying to. You um, are a scam, sir. In human to, form. Like, damn, when you, they show the word what? scam, the but definition, the time, it man, got like, your picture. Like, your picture's underneath it. I feel it. like you <laughs> can get straight. The nigga just got to get smart because. He, it's a lot of ways to get right in his field, but if you're not mentally there, you're gonna fall. You feel me? That's the only bad thing. No, what he was supposed to be doing was watching hard. out for when Negroes you, you like, like you. Especially watching out for people like, like you. People, people you like you was his downfall, period. That shit only gonna hurt you because a person like me ain't doing bad. You know what I mean? And if you're trying to compete with all your friends, that's the thing about him. 
He don't want nobody to pass him up. Even people he worked with, D-Lo and all them. I feel like the nigga never wanted D-Lo to, like, he was in, how you in tune, how you, like, in competition with a nigga you got working for you and don't want this nigga to do, I used to hate them type of people growing up. Like, it'd be a person you, you with, but they don't want to see you with more money. He one of them type of niggas. Don't want to see you do better than them. Don't want to see you dress better than them. Don't want to see your, 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 um, car better than him and shit like that so i feel like when when we came around him you know what i mean we just seen things but we ignored it like as far as like like okay this nigga is just i guess he just like this i don't know what the fuck like but if like let's say if i go buy some mirrors or something he'd be like man i gotta get those mirrors too or i go get a new chain he'd be like, i gotta go get a new chain too so i'm not the type of person i don't give a fuck what you get if you go get something i'm not trying to compete with you guys you know what i mean like if y'all go do something i'm gonna I'm like damn that's what's up bro you got a nice car that's, i've never been like the type of nigga that'd be jealous of what you got going on i'm that's why i'm blessed i'm i've never been a person that'd be like oh damn damn bro why you ain't tell me you was going to go get all of my mirrors man i need now i gotta go get all of mirrors i've never been that type of person so that's the type of person he was and when you're trying to keep up with a person that's making all this damn money it's gonna be kind of hard because you're on the loan i'm not on the loans you know what i mean and when I was coming around him, like, as, as far as if I land a deal, like, let's say if I land a big deal, he'd be like, man, why you ain't put me on a big deal? Why you ain't do this? Why you ain't do that? You know what I mean? And I'm just like, bro, it's, everything is not about you type shit. So I'm looking at it like, like, to be honest, I was never mad at bro, like, at all. I just know I that he's I couldn't even believe that lame ass shit. I was like, what? Like, you feel me? So it's kind of like. And remind y'all, I know all the man business, and I never even got on the internet and spoke about that. The business that y'all will want to hear, I don't even speak about it because it's deep as hell, right? But it's a lot of weird shit that I'm pretty sure even CJ on 32s probably know about the nigga deep down business that he probably don't speak on. But at the end of the day, like, I look at it like with bro, it's like if people pay attention to it, he's just like a big kid or whatever. You got to damn near hold his hand with shit, like, because he don't understand nothing. He don't know nothing. All he knew... Even like we went to California back, but about three years, two years ago or something like that, man. A nigga couldn't even make no food. He like, yeah, bro, uh, man, royalty usually cooks for me and royalty usually wash my clothes and royalty holds my penis when I piss or some shit like that type. We like, bro, would you stop talking about this lady gang? Like you steady, like you're so dependent on this lady, folks. Like, so it shows that So nobody a person, noticed this girl went and got a shirt made. Okay, she went and got a shirt made to have a sit down about her daughter being S.A. Are you kidding me? Just know you can never judge a book by its cover and looks can Give be very second. deceiving. Have a certain type of predators. Don't be a mom, a dad, a brother, a sister, an uncle, a cousin, a teacher, a coach, old, young, it doesn't matter. And you never know until you endured this type of situation. I don't wanna get on here and get too emotional because it's a deep conversation and it's very heartbreaking. But like I said, I didn't want this matter to be brought Back to, to the event. drawing board. We but are not does. convinced, Charlene. I'm just gonna My heart and my soul is very disturbed and very broken from this whole situation. And like I said, you don't know people's true intentions, their colors or any of that because of trauma they have had in their lives or because of whatever the situation may be. But like I said, I'm just gonna be here to protect my daughter and protect her decision and her privacy because it's not my story to tell. I wasn't there and I don't know what she had to go through. So I'm not gonna speak about something that's very private. And I know you guys are wanting to know all the details and all that because y'all are not the detectives, y'all are not the police and that's not your job to do any of that. 
like I said, I'm very broken and I'm very disturbed about the whole situation. And just to know that somebody that my kids once looked up to and called them, called him dad, it just makes it even 10 times worse. Let's go to the mall or some shit. Let's go do something. And let's say if he had a girl stand at his house, like a little prostitute girl or something, he'd be like, man, if I would've never went to the mall, man, then the girl, the prostitute girl in the house probably would've never, you know, took my stuff. It's like, man, come on, gang. The jealousy speak value. Like type shit, he's like one of them type of people. The like, jealousy speak value. Was about you type mad shit, that he could go and buy the things really be that about, you though, had be just or about more? That, though. Is that why you speaking but, I right mean, now? Folks, one thing about them that I know I'm gonna just get y'all a little insight. Folks love these whores, gang. You know what I'm saying? And like, I ain't, I can't even cap on that. Like, he got a real girl fetish. Like, he has to hit the, that he love Vegas because of the females. Did we not see now, the whole little female you know, um, fiasco play out on as far Instagram, as with that, that's sir? His, I feel like that's his downfall. We seen he's that. Not, he's not. <laughs> it's not like he's on crazy drugs, but it's the prostitutions. I mean, the prostitutions and the gambling is bad. You know what I mean? And me personally, I don't got no beef with, you know, um, like CJ, uh, so cool and nothing like that. You know what I mean? Everything good. It's just this man make like, money just, just to get like things that are irritating me by. as far as when Go the way he say in the back stuff seat. about stuff. <laughs> and it's like, bro, I really know you. I really know you know you. It ain't like you just talking from a distance. I know a whole lot about you. Like, Plenty times where we had to make little prostitutes say, hey, man, can you go to the hospital and get rid of the baby and little shit like that? Like, then nigga, millions and millions of girls inboxes, the youngest girls, like all types of shit. So that's what I look at it like, bro, just leave. Don't mention my name. Trust me, bro. Like, I really I am a troller. I will troll your life away all day. You will want to kill yourself playing with me, bro. Like. You feel me? Like, I will get on my podcast every day and literally talk about your ass all day. Blah, blah, And bring blah, girls blah, on the blah, show. Blah, I get blah, real blah, dirty blah, and bring blah. them girls that you mess with, them young girls on the show, you know what I mean? And give them a platform and all that. So leave me alone, gang. Or never say nothing about me, ever. Type shit. So, with that being so said. So you was hanging um, around a man yeah. that you know that was dealing with young girls. I feel girls. like. And now you uh, say you're going to bring them I seen same the uh, thing with CJ on 32 and I. Uh, expose him. I see. Are you not like, listening to yourself? If CJ is guilty, send his ass to jail. But along with him, send the old ass grandmother to jail, send the mama to jail, send Ben, me, and Kevo to jail, send CJ on 32s to jail. And if they saying that D Lo knew, send his ass to jail too. Because for this to be a receipt for people to throw out in the midst of an argument or a fight for clout, I don't respect that. But for them to have kept this information in, if this something that they knew coexisted, they were still hanging out with this man but they the same ones that say he like young girls ain't they all got young girls too we not gonna act like that situation with Ben me and kevo didn't happen with um nicole if you we remember nicole uh-huh uh-huh and cj on 32s his girlfriend is how old let's get into you it's a group um People hang out with like-minded folks, okay? So maybe that's something that y'all had in common and now you saying it as a joke. So if anything, if you throwing him under the bus, you throwing you underneath that same bus too because y'all was all included, okay? At the end of the day. Not really putting them out type shit. You get what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, man, bro, like leave, a, leave me alone with this shit, you know what I mean? You know? And I feel sorry for him, really, to be honest, because when them kids got took away, that's when you seen them go downhill. He was trying to keep up off the little money that they gave him, but he tries to do everything to the biggest level, the highest level. Then people got to watch you upgrade, then watch you downgrade, 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 downgrade. He didn't try to do you know things I mean? at the biggest level. He saving. did things at the biggest level. Folks and didn't know nothing about credit when I first mad. met him. He didn't know too much about nothing. He was solely dependent on everybody else to help him, you know, make money and do this. And I'm just like, bro, in the situation you in with the fan base you ha have, you can't, I understand that you're entertaining kids, but you are forgetting that this is fake and reality is real and you're, you are grown. You know what I mean? It's and by the funeral you being background grown, for me. The only thing that's missing is the music. Let me help you. This song's dedicated 
to my homies in that gangsta lean. Yeah, because she think that this one is definitely going to be the one to finish CJ off. Stop playing with us, royalty, or should I call you Charlene? <laughs> Now, just so happenly, after the court case, Jalea sees something online and it makes her break down and tell her what happened. What the hell could that child have seen online that would make her break down that she did not see going on in her real life between her mother and her ex-stepfather, if that's the case, that they've been through back and forth. They've been developed hate for CJ, okay? It was many of situations like if they say him calling them homeless and all of those other comments okay they knew that they was not going to be no longer coexistent within his space so that's information that would have been came out now i'm all for victims okay uh i'm all for victims okay because you're looking at somebody that was a victim but i'm not being sensitive to this situation because i feel like they're trying to play on the factors of victims tops this is a guilt card to the fullest Okay, and I don't approve of it. At the end of the day, if somebody was violated, then the person that violated them sh should be punished to the fullest of extremes. But I don't think that a person should be punished before there's any facts that's fact thing. Who did the research on this receipt to see that it was even true? Anything that's on or has to do with the courts is public record, boo-boo. It's public record. So now that it's known, where's these allegations? Where's this, where's this information? Okay, because anything else that happened with them as a couple, even down to the factors of the laxative and everything else when the supporters called the CPS, okay? Just being honest, all of that has a record, a paper chase. How is there no chase of no paper when it comes to these receipts? Y'all just word of mouth at this point, baby. And let's get into grandma old ass, okay? Because she got me mad. At the end of the day, what, what relationship you and CJ on 32's got that you feel comfortable going to tell him if that is um private information of your granddaughter in that type of nature? What was he supposed to do? Is he the judge or the policeman? I'm confused with this situation. And then you still going to be cool. Y'all still going to be cool with him. After he put something like this out on the internet that would violate the person that y'all say that y'all was trying to cover, right? So if y'all trying to cover her and this is the person that put the information out for others to be able to now violate her, how y'all still cool with him? I mean, I'm just asking because it's confusing. Real women do real things, honey. I'm not going to get my makeup done, put lipstick on, get the funeral curtains in the background, get the little funeral flower like you trying to put a nigga and lay him to rest at the end of the day. Get a fan in front of me so it could blow my hair to the right consistency unless you was outside or how, however the, it went. Anytime I would have came live, it would have been straight to the point, my friend. Listen, I'm sorry y'all had to find out the way that y'all did, but it is what it is. And that would have been it. The only thing a person kept creating as a narrative is, I really don't know how she feels. I wasn't there. Uh, are you trying to let us know that you were not there or that you don't know how she feels? As a victim, if you wasn't one, you can never take on the feeling, the feelings of a victim, hun. But the fact is of you keep narrating the fact is that you was not there what is your point what is your point the point is you trying to find a reason for him to no longer be around his kids and being that none of the proof that you took into court was willing to work for you boo this is what it is that you are now choosing to do but i hope this is the one thing that also destroys you as a person because coma is real and we ain't saying cj is perfect because he got bullshit with him too Okay, 
He's a human, boo-boo. He may, like I said in my last video, may not be the perfect man, may not be the perfect friend, but I don't see him as a kid toucher at all, at all. And if there was allegations made in 2018 and we now in 2024, and that never made your sensories go off as an alarm because if anything, you defended it. Uh-uh, the supporters be hating. They just be calling CPS because they see us blowing up and they not doing something stuff like us these is your words huh these is your words these is your words and i'm being honest when it does come to somebody manipulating and victimizing a person they will use things as overage or leverage over their head so that's not what it is that i'm saying at the end of the day but what i am saying is nobody was never um doing anything no differently until this situation came to be so you mean to tell me if um cj on 32s and cj so cool never got into a confrontation boo boo then um this would still be an under the rug secret because you can't say that it's on record because if it was on record you would have been took it back to the court to show that judge that um you got charges on this man for one of your other children so you don't feel safe taking even the children that he fathered to visit him or for them to be within his care where's the documents baby because you would have been took them documents so you could have to stop taking them kids over there you've been wanting to stop you tired of putting your kids in Mimi's car you tired of your kids pulling off in the expensive cars and they calling y'all dusty, musty, crusty, and homeless. Okay, so the biggest payback would be this. But defamation of character, that's a real thing and it do exist. And if you don't have the proof of the shit that you say or the shit that you choose to do, then you and whoever else spoke of that information will be going down too. As a crew. So say cheeks. <laughs> Anyway, this is your girl Tay with the T. Stay away from people like these, all right? Like I tell y'all every day, real is real and fake is everywhere, okay? It is at an all-time high. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Keep your girl alive. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Keep your girl alive. And I'm out. Please, please don't become a Charlene. D don't ever become a Charlene. <laughs> la 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 lattes were a a la 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 lattes were a